An international human rights lawyer named Emmanuel Ogebi claims that Bola Tinubu has acknowledged being fake by submitting contradictory documents, according to him. Bola Tinubu left no trace of his presence in the USA before the Chicago State University. In an interview with Arise TV, Ogebi said that because outside players and the circumstances had a role in the case, the presidential election appeal has last, lasting significance in Nigerian history. Hey guys, welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for always coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Thank you. The Chicago State University, Emmanuel Ogegbe, said, Nobody is claiming that Tunubu is fake. But he himself said he is fake. An international human rights lawyer named Emmanuel Ogebe claims that Bola Tinubu acts acknowledge being fake by submitting contra contradictory documents according to him. Bola Tinubu left no trace of his presence in the U.S. before the Chicago State University. In an interview with Arise TV, Ogebe said that because Aside players and circumstances had a role in the case. The presidential election appeal has lasting significance in Nigerian history. According to him, this is another reason why this particular petition is historic. Because for the first time, external actors and factors were relevant to the case. To put it midly, there is no footprint of Bola Tinobu's existence period to a community college in the U.S. And so, we don't have any footprint of him in Nigeria. All we have begins in the U.S. and most of is dubious, even by his own admission. So, if you put his gubernatorial INEC from next to his presidential INEC form, they contradict each other, and so nobody is claiming that he is fake. He himself said he is fake. These are generated reactions. Number one corrupt person in this country is a number one citizen. What an irony. But some stupid Yoruba still the delusional about his integrity. Let him continue to wallow in ignorance and bigotry and see why it takes them to, or where it takes them to. Suppose that is what he wanted to say. All of us should know that the final verdict has been pronounced. Either we like it or not. We cannot change it. Let's forget about the last election and plan for a better future for Nigeria, especially the younger ones. Don't complain when it comes back to you. Someone replied to that. Supreme Court don't change people's life history. I am referring to those Yoruba saying Supreme Court have settled the case. Who told you Supreme Court erase one criminal life? Even a person that killed can be set free by any court. That does not mean the person is no longer a murderer. Hmm. Come to Nigeria and see where judgment is given without justice. Very soon, these evil judges and their conspirators will face market dance mixed with Uto Uto. I beg, eat your food for thought alone. We don't need it here. I beg, you guys are just being pocky. You can't re railroad Mr. President into letting you know what you don't know is your duty to do your due diligence. Now that you have exhausted all the opportunities you had to do and failed, we hope you would be civil enough to let us have fresh breeze, I beg. Just because it favors your tribes, it does not make it right. Hmm. Very fake, as he called himself. That man has stupid man. No. Hey, hey. Reactions are getting tough.
Well, these ones are really very harsh. These are reactions from Nigerians. So, an international human rights lawyer named Emmanuel Ugegbe claims that Bola Tinubu has acknowledged being fake. By the, in the first place, he submitted a contradictory document, according to him. He said Bola Tinubu left no trace of his presence in the U.S. before the Chicago State University. So, if all these things here yeah, surrounding one person, this scandal is just too much. The question now is, who is Bola Ahmed Tinubu? In an interview with Arise TV, Ugebe said that because outside players and circumstances had a role in the case, so the presidential election appeal has lasting significance in Nigerian history. According to him, this is another reason why this particular petition is historic. Because for the first time, external actors and factors were relevant to the case. To put it midly, there is no food spirit of Bola Tinobu's existence period to the com a community college in the U.S. And so, we don't have any food spirit of him in Nigeria as well. All we have begins in the U.S., and most of it dubious even by his own admission. So, if you put his gubernatorial election from next to his presidential election form, they, they are con contradict. They contradict each other, and so nobody is claiming that he is fake. Himself said he is fake. <laughs> so, guys, let's hear from you. Kindly you share your thoughts below the comment section, please. Do not forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. Thank you.